good morning class 4 and welcome you all in science class children today we are going to learn about soil what is a soil and how is it formed we shall also discuss about different types of soil in detail so what is a soil a soil is the upper layer of the earth in which plants and crops are grown and how the soil formed millions of years ago the soil was formed by withering of large pieces of rocks into tiny pieces by the heat of the sun moving air and of running water and this process is called withering withering means breaking down or dissolving of rocks and minerals on earth's surface there are various types of soil available we shall discuss about the four primary types of soils sandy soil clay soil loamy soil and silt soil so what is a sandy soil the sandy soil has big particles that have large spaces between them the spaces between these particles filled with air hence sandy soil are also called well aerated soil because it is filled with soil and this word aerated comes from the air so due to the large spaces between the soil it cannot hold much water that's why sandy soil is dry in nature now we are moving to second type of soil that is clay soil clay soil consists fine particles which have less space between them class you can compare this clay soil with the sandy soil sandy soil has big particle and clay soil has less space particles between them this less space particles allows the absorption of water in the clay soil easily they are able to hold water hence they are suitable for the growth of different kinds of plants now moving forward to our third type of soil and that is loamy soil so loamy soil contains a similar amount of large and small particles unlike the sandy or clay soil that have big or less particles loamy soil contains both of these equally it also has large and it also has small particles so basically this is a combination of sandy clay and silt soil we we shall also discuss about the silt soil after this okay so this also contain humus so what is humus humus is a substance made from dead leaves and dead plants it is also used to put into the ground to help the plants to grow in hindi we call it khad or in english we call it humus so humus is a substance made from dead leaves and animals all right so clay soil can hold water in appropriate amount and therefore it also supports the growth of plant this soil is also known as agriculture 
soil and contain good amount of calcium and have a high pH level. Now coming to the last type of soil and that is silt soil. The silt soil particles are smaller of sandy soil but larger than the clay soil. Silt soil can hold water to some extent because it is fine. It has fine quality. They are generally found near the water bodies like river banks or lakes. So class we have discussed about four types of soil and their features. Now you will be able to differentiate these four soils with each other. Now moving forward we shall discuss about soil erosion. What is soil erosion? What causes soil erosion? And how can we conserve soil erosion? So we shall start with the soil erosion. Soil erosion means the removal or displacement of the upper layer of the soil. This takes place by the action of wind, rain and river water. It washes away the important minerals and nutrients of the soil that result into the infertility of the soil. There are various causes of soil erosion such as deforestation, heavy rain, strong winds and over grazing. Deforestation means cutting down of forest and when these trees are cut down, the strong wind and rain water can easily blow away the topsoil and when the flood comes, it washes away the important minerals. So, it causes the soil erosion. Overgazing also causes soil erosion. Overgrazing is a situation in which many, plant, any, many animals such as cows and buffaloes eat the excessive grass which damage the soil fertility. So, these are the various reasons responsible for the soil erosion. But how can we prevent the soil erosion? What are the methods of soil conservation? Prevention of soil erosion is known as soil conservation. So, there are different methods of soil conservation such as afforestation, crop rotation, step farming, construction of embankments and dams. Afforestation means uh, it refers to the process of sowing seeds or planting trees in an area that does not have trees to create a forest. This helps to prevent the soil from erosion. Now crop rotation. Crop rotation is a practice of growing a series of different types of crops in the same area in sequenced season. It helps in reducing soil erosion and increases soil fertility and crops yield. Terrace farming. Terrace farming is done on the sloping mountains because these areas receives the water from the mountains. So, terrace farming helps these areas to prevent the soil erosion. Terrace farming is useful because it slows down the speed of running water from the mountains. This conserves the fertility of the topsoil. And construction of embankment is necessary to prevent soil erosion as rivers constantly remove soil from their banks. So these embankments of rocks helps to bind the soil by building dams along the banks. 
this prevent the soil erosion by flooding so that's all for now hope this topic is clear to you and if not listen to this audio again and again this will help you to understand so bye for now thank you and have a wonderful day